Hi folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to do a resident load in ClickView. So what we first need to do is um, load some data. So what I'll do is, um, I'll say insert, click load statement, load in line. So I'm going to load some data um, in ClickView this way. So if you say customer, and then double click the next column and say sales. And then in our customer, we're going to simply just say customer A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. So we've got the four customers. And then we're going to put in the sales for each customer. So we'll just say 100, 200, 300, and so on. So we're just creating test data effectively. So now that we have them, we click OK, we're happy with that. We just have to name the table, so we'll say um, all data. So we press Ctrl and Forward to reload that. We can add our two list boxes. And you can see now when we drag the list boxes down, clear our selection, make a selection on A, you can see the sales 100, 500, 900, select B. C and D. So what if we wanted to select A but instead of seeing the 100, the 500, the 900, that we just see 1500, which is the total set. So what we can do is do a resident load on the previously loaded table. So we call it, we call this resident, and we say load customer, and then sum, sum sales, Sales. Then we do a resident this, so it's resident, and then the name of the table. So we just control C and copy that, control V to paste. And then what we want to do is group by customer. I'm just closing with a, a semicolon. So now if you reload. We now have an extra column called total sales, we can add that. So now you'll see if we select the customer, our normal sales from the, the, first, uh, the previously loaded table, or all data table, we can see A and the list of sales, and then we've got total, so we see B, the list of sales, and total. What we could do is, if we don't want to see this at all in our data model, we can go back into the script, control and A, and we can drop the table. So drop table all day. So now we press control and order to reload. You can see we've no tape. The only fields we have are the customer and total sales. Or what we could do is press control and E and don't drop the table at all. Get rid of that. And then just rename customer as total. Now if we reload, we should have customer and sales and total customer and total sales. So we've got our sales, add those. So now we can put our total customer into total sales and our customer with each individual sale. If we press Ctrl and T, you can see those tables aren't linked. So it's just a, a simple way um, or a simple introduction of how resident load works. Um, I hope you can use it in your own applications. I've just been named Click Lumi for 2015, and uh, you can follow me at Rusty Fishbones on Twitter. Um, I hope that helps. I'll see you next week. Cheers.